grown-ups for humoring me. You've done well. We're going to have the kids down the front now for the kids' spot. So if you want to come down the front, uh, if you're a child, we're going to do something together. If you want to come down Lois as well, you can come down Michelle. Just remember to spread out down here. Maybe go on the, on the right here. And Michelle, you go on the left. That's fantastic. Okay. Now, we're starting. Do you want to go over here, Michelle? That's perfect. Just here. Okay. We are starting a new kids' spot. Okay? And it's going to be about the fruit of the spirit. So I thought, what better way to start a new kid spot about the fruit of the spirit than to get some fruit? And I got some fruit from home. It's not, it doesn't look the most tasty fruit. This banana's been around for too long, hasn't it? It needs to be made into banana bread or something like that, I think. But I've got a banana. Okay. I've got an apple. Do you like apples? Yeah, yeah. I've got a satsuma. We just call, we just call, what do we call these in our house? We just call everything that is like this an orange. But this one is particularly a satsuma. We've got a kiwi, which this one loves. And I've got a tomato. Is that right? It's a fruit. It is a fruit, apparently. So I've got a tomato. You love tomatoes as well. OK, so we've got some fruit. Michelle, what's some of your favorite fruit, do you reckon? What's your absolute favorite fruit of all time? Apple. Out of all the fruit in the world, an apple. OK, that's fine. Lois? Strawberries, yeah, I'm not surprised about that. I'm not surprised about that. Mine, do you know what? I think an underrated fruit, a really seriously underrated fruit, is a pear. You get a good pear, it's fantastic, you know? I think they're hugely underrated. Should we ask any grown-ups for their favourite fruit, shall we? Yeah. Okay, stand up and point at one, and we'll make them, we'll, we'll force them to tell us their favourite fruit, shall we? What's your favourite fruit? A banana. This sort of banana or, or not quite so ripe? You don't mind. You don't know any, any sort of banana. Well, anyone got a really unusual fruit that they absolutely love that people don't, might not think of? I quite like, I'm quite partial to lychees as well, as we, I, I think. But uh, anyone else? Passion fruit. Oh, passion fruit. Lovely. Josiah is a, a fan of passion fruit. My dad used to make passion fruit sorbet. That was always tasty. Anyone else got some favorite fruits? Mango, I do love a mango as well, absolutely. I think it's my favorite juice. My favorite fruit juice is mango juice, hands down for sure. Okay, fruit. Fruit is good, isn't it? And fruit can be grown. What fruit are we growing at our house at the moment, Lois? Strawberries, Strawberries and, tomatoes. and tomato. Yes, and tomatoes, this is true. Thanks to Trevor and Anne, we've got loads of strawberry plants that we are growing and we're very excited to see some strawberries. Now, the fruit of the spirit is something the Bible talks about that we should grow in ourselves, and they're not these sorts of things. They're different things that we should grow in ourselves, like love and joy and peace, peace and patience and kindness. And each kid's spot for the next few weeks, we're going to think about a different one. And the first fruit of the Spirit is love. Okay? So I thought I'd tell you about something I love. I love Arsenal. So I've got lots of Arsenal things. I've got my big Arsenal mug. Do you like that? It's a huge one, isn't it? How big is that? It is. It's a sort of soup mug, I suppose, or a huge mug of tea. I've got my Arsenal mug, which I love. I've got sort of Arsenal books. This one is specifically about Arsene Wenger, who was our manager for, for 22 years, and it's all lots of statistics and things, which is very interesting. I've got a signed... I can't remember what you call these things. There's a special name for them, isn't there? A banner sort of thing. Well, yeah, it's a particular name, I think. But anyway, I've got this is signed by Messer Ozil, who's a great Arsenal player. He's sort of not amazing at the moment, but he was great. The best Arsenal player. This is my most prized Arsenal possession of all time. Okay? This is a photo of the greatest Arsenal player, probably the greatest player in the Premier League ever, a person called Dennis Bergkamp. Okay, he's amazing. And I turn it round, it says to Isaac best wishes, and it's signed by Dennis Bergkamp. I should be wearing gloves as I hold this, but um, that's amazing. Now, you know I love Arsenal because I've got all this stuff, haven't I? So my question for you is, how do we know when we love someone else? What sorts of things will we see when we love someone else? Lois? Might be playing with them. That 
that's lovely, isn't it? We do hear that. We'd be playing with them. We'd be saying kind things to them. And if we were allowed, we'd be hugging and kissing them as well. That's wonderful, isn't it? That would show that we love them. Michelle, what about you? Anything to add to that, do you think, that shows that we love someone? Being kind to them. Yeah, being kind to them. What sorts of things might we do to be kind? Kind words. Kind words. Kind with our words. Presents. Might give them presents. We might do, mightn't we? If we really, really love them, we might give them an arsenal present. That would show that we really love them. Um, so there's all sorts of things we can show to love. That's right. And a fruit of the Spirit is love that we're to grow. But do you know what? The fruit of the Spirit. Here's a question. Love. That's what we shows that we love people. Here's the next question. Last question. Who should we love? God. We should love God. Fantastic. Anyone else? Jesus. Jesus. We should love Jesus. Anyone else? Everyone. Everyone. We should. Should we love our friends? Yeah. Yep. Should we love our family? Yeah. Should we love our teachers? Yeah. Should we love that person in our class that's really horrible to us? Yeah. We should, shouldn't we? Should we love our enemies? Yeah. 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 What do you want to say, Lois? And we should also love our pets. Like Could love your pets as well. Yes, this is true. But that is a fruit of the Spirit. And do you know what? I think that's the main way we're going to know whether God has given us that fruit of the Spirit that we're growing inside us of love, whether we can love and show love in those ways you just talked about to people that maybe we struggle to, maybe they're a bit mean to us, maybe they're unkind, maybe we might even say they are enemies, but we can love them. Shall I pray about that now? Should we put our hands together and pray? I'm going to do our amen, amen, amen prayer. This might be new. Do you know this one, Michelle? Grown-ups might know. When we get to amen, we have to go amen, 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 amen. I agree, amen. Okay, we'll give it a go at the end. Let's pray. Lord God, thank you that you have showered your spirit upon us and that he wants to grow his fruit in us. And we pray this morning for the fruit of love. Lord, help us all to grow in love for one another, to show those different ways of being kind and loving to one another. Lord, especially help us, because we can't do it without you, to show love to those we find it hard to love, those who are our enemies. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. I agree, amen. Well done. Do you want to go back to your places, girls? Fantastic job.